Hello, welcome back to Real Dilemmas. I know it's been a while, see what ended up happening. Uh, Nick did not manage to get his out on time, so he's going to take extra Dilemma cards, and I get a chance to steal! So, I'm going to be taking the theme I gave to him, which is, theme, you need losers to be a winner. Item, a third place trophy. Character, Paul Holderman, a father who pushes his kids to win at sports and constantly tries to make his accounting job sound perfectly analogous with sportsing. Place a boxing ring to prove a point. Plot shred. Paul learns that his kid's coach is his high school nemesis, played by Jack Black. Genre? Kevin James family movie. Now, I also had to draw a couple dilemma cards myself because I uh, got things up a little late last time, so... What were the ones I drew were the uh, Queen of Diamonds and the Eight of Diamonds, uh, which gives me the zombies are made of bubble gum and the terraforming of Mars is put on hold. Paul Holderman is having a rough time of it. His kids are all in sports. He loves them, and he loves sports. He wants them to excel, but he can't seem to press them further to greatness the way he sees other parents doing. He feels like he's failing his kids. His daughter plays soccer while his son plays croquet, and together they're designing a video game that combines both sports and zombies. Paul doesn't know quite what's happening with the game. Why are the zombies made of bubblegum? This is the special badge for Kickstarter backers. It lets everyone know that they found us first. That's it? It just tells everyone that they did something that a lot of them never got the chance to do? Yeah, it's a way of providing a win for those who supported us getting started. Yeah, but making it show everyone who never got the chance to do it isn't necessary. The point of winning is not so you can rub it in everyone else's face. Like, I managed to do turn in spreadsheets faster than anyone else in the office, but I don't have to wave it in front of everyone. Knowing that I accomplished that is enough. That's not what Coach says. So Paul goes to talk to their coach, where he finds... Hubert Holman, played by Jack Black, his high school nemesis, yelling at teenagers for not moving fast enough. We are the prairie dogs, not the sloths! Move it, people! What happened to Graspowski? Paul Halderman. I was wondering when you were going to finally show up. Graspowski kicked the bucket. He's dead? No, no, he's not dead. What's wrong with you? He lost his cool and kicked over the donation bucket at the Christmas dinner. It's a shame. He almost had tenure. We learn that Hubert pushes the team incredibly hard. He decides that he needs help to do it right, so his wife joins him to push them over the edge. She's a major department head at NASA, but winning is important enough that she put the Mars terraforming mission on hold until the season is over. In an attempt to help his kids see that losing isn't so bad, in fact, it's kind of cool, he brings them to his old boxing ring. He points to a small third place trophy off to the side in one of the boxes. It has his name on it. The guy who won this gave this to me and said, you need losers to be a winner. I couldn't have done it without you. Boom. Uh, my next challenge for Nick, theme, you gotta know when to hold them. When to fold them, when to walk away, and when to run. Character, Karen Northcutt, a hard-working plumber. Item, a cigar burning unevenly. Plot shred, the housing development gets delayed due to issues in the pipes before the foundation goes down. Place, around a poker table. Genre, crime. Alright, that's what I get. Now off with you. Go be wonderful!